Hello, this is MakerJ101, and here's my Tesla coil boiling some water in a test tube. It actually works quite well. Um, I'm not really sure how efficient it is, but um, it works. Um, but I basically just have the high voltage lead going right up underneath there, and it's actually making the glass glow, and that's what the light is. Um, but there's my Tesla coil. I made some changes to it. I actually improved the output a bunch by putting two co two secondaries. So I have one secondary, um, or wait, yeah, the outer one here is the 370 turn Tesla coil, um, and the the outer one there is a little bit higher gauge, or um, yeah, larger gauge, um, and then the small the inner one is that 540 one that I've used in other videos, um, but they're connected in series. The one with the larger, the bottom of the larger one, um, or this, the one right here. Um, that one is connected to um, the circuit, and then the end of it connects back down to the bottom of this, the red one there. So it actually sort of is double the windings, but all inside of the, um, still inside the magnetic field. Because when it's all the way up here, it's not really inside the magnetic field of this, um, the primary very much. At least that's what I think. Um, I'm not sure about that, but... So it's boiling there. Got a little bit of steam coming off. Not very focused, but um. So this is actually PNP transistor. Um, but basically, all you have to do that I know of to switch it from NPN to PNP is put a PNP transistor in there and reverse the um, power supply. Normally, the positive would be up here, um, connected to the um, yeah. And I also um, put another put more LEDs in the opposite direction um, and actually the other the ones that are normal in the normal direction those ones actually burned out that's why there's dead ones there and the other ones are the ones that I put in the different direction and those are still working so um, but this is running on those two 12 volt batteries connected in series connected in series with the 24 volts on my power supply so I had maximum voltage is going to be about 48 volts but it's only running at 34 right now but when I turn off the turn it off it jumps up to 47 but there's my current draw it's a bit over the meter so it's probably about 700 milliamps 600 to 700 that one's not very accurate because it's actually AC but um, so yeah it works pretty good um, I have to put this plastic in between those or else it arcs um, as you can see it was arcing a little bit there but um I get pretty good output off of this and it's really small too it's only about six or seven inches tall so I was also experimenting with putting neons neon light bulbs to try to protect the um, transistor because I was having problems with them um, burning out I burned out a lot of transistors actually all of those right there NPN and PNP um, I think I've had better success with the PNP they seem to work better um, I seem to get more output um, but so yeah the neons really don't seem to do anything um, I don't know why um, but so yeah um, but the um, high voltage actually does fry the tubes a little bit there as you can see that one's kind of um, uh, cracked up that one as well and that one um, but so I'll just show you the output here um, and I actually think one of the reasons how my power supply got burned out or my transistors burned out is because if I take this um, wire and this is grounded and if I connect that grounded wire if I short it, if I accidentally short it out to the output, it will actually destroy the transistor pretty much instantly. So I have a 1K resistor in line with this ground lead, and that protects it from too much current going through the transistor. So that's a little thing that I found out there. Um, but I'll just show you the arcs here. Let me disconnect it from the. Whoop! Let me just pop the fuse there. Huh. I wonder if I pop my transistor. Might have. Well, I'll have to see here. Got to replace the fuse, which is just some wire here. I'll just stick it right in there. And put that back. Well, didn't, didn't go in properly. But this is burned out fuse, and then I just use the 
fuse holder and the burned out fuse to hold the little piece of wire here. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. There we go. Okay, so let's see if it's going to burn it out. Oh, I think I popped the transistor. So, um, I guess that's the end of this video. Um, but, so yeah, stay tuned for more. Sorry about the um, long wait there. I was kind of busy and I didn't really have time to upload a video or make any. So, but yeah, that's the progress on the Tesla coil. Um, so stay tuned for more videos and um, thanks for watching.